The armed robbery happened at the Delta Sigma Phi fraternity house. A frat brother is being called a hero for helping police subdue one of the suspects. Keith Carls has this part of the story. Heyman woke me up saying, there's a guy here with a gun. Can you come help us? And I didn't really understand if he was being serious. 20-year-old Forrest Baker recalls the terrifying moments early Sunday morning when he confronted a gunman wearing a ski mask and demanding money at his fraternity house. So then he grabbed me, led me around, and at that point I was just stalling because I figured the cops would come eventually. And, I mean, the whole time he was just saying, like, if I see a cop, I'm going to kill you. Like, I have, and he had the gun to my head at one point. Baker says he and the gunman were on the second floor when the first San Luis Obispo police officer arrived. At that point, I realized, like, there was a cop, and he said he would shoot me if he saw a cop. I didn't know if he was being serious or not, but he turned away from me for a second, and that's when I grabbed his gun and then just basically tackled him down the entire flight of stairs and uh, was holding him on the ground for, like, a few seconds before that cop came and jumped on top of him. And that honestly wasn't even enough to, to keep him detained and so a lot of my fraternity brothers came and helped and the cops were even asking us to help them out. And then like 30 seconds later, like five more police officers came and kind of dogpiled him because he was, he was like resisting and you know, he bit a police officer and he was like trying to escape basically. Forrest Baker says he may have broken his foot in the tussle with the gunman. He says he does not know why the gunman chose his fraternity house, which was not hosting any parties or events Saturday night, and Baker says has no history of conflict with Cal Poly football players. In Santa Maria, Keith Carls, News Channel 3.